Some further examples on tree diagrams, and these are more um, past paper questions. Um, most of the past paper questions that I've seen only have two events, and the events are limited to two options. Um, but I do want to go a bit more advanced with, say, um, yes, two events, but you have three options instead. Um, so we are looking at this question. You have a box of chocolates, and it's 12 chocolates in total. You have three types of chocolates, milk, plain, and white, and there's a specific amount for each one. Um, so five of milk, four of plain, and three of white. So as a probability, if you are... So in, in total, we're going to pick two chocolates at random without replacement. So the detail about without replacements is important in a tree diagram. Um, the probability for milk is 5 over 12, 4 over 12, and then the white is 3 over 12. If, for example, they didn't give you this piece of information, the one here, and they didn't have this option, which is quite common. They sometimes give you one or two of the branches, but then one of the branches is missing. And remember that all the probabilities have to add up to one, meaning, so in one branch, they have to add up to one. So these have to add up to one, these add up to one, and these add up to one, which means these should add up to one. So um, you could just look at one minus five over 12 plus four over 12, and that should give you the answer. So we have one minus uh, nine over 12, which is just um, the answer three over 12. Um, so in case that's, that happens, you know what to do. It's a one minus. So always keep that in mind. The probabilities add up to one. Now, if you want to fill up this table, um, we are talking about without replacement. So we need to be considerate about the denominator. The denominator is going to keep on changing. Um, so let's go through one root and then I'll have you pause the video and try the rest on your own. So if I'm picking milk, and I don't replace it, I pick milk again. So I've already taken one milk, which means now I'm left with four milk chocolates. And I had 12, but I've already taken one milk, so I'm left with 11 chocolate pieces. Uh, for the plain, I haven't taken any plain uh, chocolate as I'm on this branch, so it stays as four. And But I still have one less chocolate because I picked out the milk chocolate, so I'm left with 11. Um, and the white, I haven't picked white, so it's still 3 and it's still out of 11. Now do try, pause the video and try the next one and then I'm going to explain the last one using the same logic. So if you've tried the next one, you should get that this is 5 over, 12, 5 over 11 sorry, and then 3 over 11 and you have 3 over 11. And then using the same logic here, Going on the white branch, I haven't picked milk, so milk stays as it is, but I did already pick a chocolate out. Again, we are going with the without replacement. If it said with replacement, then the denominator stays as 12. And then plain is, I haven't picked any plain, so it's 4 over 11. I have picked a white, so it's going to be 2 over 11. And notice how the numerators will add up to, so the fractions will add up to 1. Or you can look at the numerators, so 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11, so it should give you 1. 5 plus 3 plus 3, that's 11. 5 plus 4 plus 2, that is 11. So we are looking at, you know, just double checking your answers. So next, it was the probability that you have one milk chocolate and one white chocolate. And it's three marks, so it's not just straightforward. You need to write the probabilities down. So this is the probability, one milk and white, white chocolate. So milk and then white chocolate. But we could also have white and milk chocolate. They didn't specify the order. So since the order hasn't been specified, you can do it in any order possible. You could have milk and then white, or white and then milk. So that's another detail to be aware of. Um, so when this case happens, when you have a couple of options, so you either have this option or this option. Um, so either this branch or that branch. So we are going to add the probability. This is using the OR rule. So we have... Uh, probability of milk or white and then white or milk. So looking at the branches, this is going to be 
we want milk and then white so we're looking at this and then white or, or we're looking at white and then milk so we're looking at these two branches so we have a 5 over 12 and a 3 over 11 and then 3 over 12 and a 5 over 11 so using those values Let's keep it well, using those values. I'm going to calculate the probabilities. So the probabilities on a branch have to multiply. So if I want the probability here right at the end, this will be the probability of milk and then white. I have to multiply the numbers. So it's going to be 5 over 12 times 3 over 12, which will give me a 5 over um, 44. And then my other branches here, I have probability of white and then milk. So this will also give me 5 over 44. You only add after you've taken the probabilities. So I have this is 5 over 44. This is 5 over 44. So adding them up will give me 5 over 22. That's my answer. So the key thing here is to remember that if you're taking the probability out of a branch, you multiply the probabilities. And then if you are taking many options, so you have choices, then you add the probabilities that you get. So in this case, we're adding the probabilities here. Um, so this is for part B. Now for part C, we'll have to follow the same thing, but we're gonna do something slightly different. Um, they want the probability that at least one plain chocolate is chosen. So it could be that you have plain and then something else or something else and then plain. And we have many options here. This could be this could be plain, this could be milk, this could be white. Again, this could be plain, this could be milk, this could be white. So we have many options here. Um, so instead of looking at the many options, we can look at the reverse or let's highlight all our options to see what it looks like. So if I go if I highlight the branches um, I need at least a plane in one of my branches so if I go milk I have to pick a plane if I go plain, I could pick milk, I could pick plain, I could pick white, because I have at least, in these options, I always have at least one plain. I'm allowed to have two. And then if I pick white, then I need to have the plain as well. So notice how we're going to end up calculating one, two, three, four, five branches. Um, so we could go through those calculations. So I'll calculate the probability here, 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 and then add them up just as we did in part B. Another option is to take the inverse. So I'm, we could take one minus the probability of no plane. And no plane comes from taking milk and milk, milk and white, uh, white and milk, white and white, which is only, we only have four options here and two of them actually we've calculated already. So let's try those instead. Uh, what I would encourage you to do is maybe practice finding those yellow branches and then adding them together. So that would be good practice and you should get the same answer as I would get. Um, so let me calculate the other probabilities. If I calculate this, so 5 over 12 times 4 over um, 11, uh, will give me 5 over 33. We already have this, and uh, we already have this, and the last one is 3 over 12 times 2 over 11, and that will give me 1 over 22. So it's actually much quicker. And what we're going to do is we're going to add all of these. So 1 minus all the options with no plane. So we have 5 over 3, 5 over 44, 5 over 44, and 1 over 22. Okay, so that's going to be 1 minus 14 over 33, which is 19 over 33. Now, if you multiplied all of the yellow branches and added them, added them together, 
then you should get a 19 over 33 as well. But this is also just to think a bit smarter about how you're going to solve some of the questions. So um, notice the marks distributions. You have two marks, three marks, and three marks here. So this is for two events. Um, for this question, it's a three event, which I haven't seen as often in uh, past paper questions, to be honest, but it's good to practice those. So we have nine boys and 15 girls in a class, and they're chosen at random, and we have all of these probabilities. Um, now, you could do some of them without um, a tree diagram, um, especially the first one, but let's do a tree diagram just to show how it's going to look like. So... Um, you're going to pick um, three children at random. So obviously, if you're going to pick the children, you're not going to replace them because you want three. So there is no replacement. Um, so if I have, let's create our branch. So we have the boys and girls. This is picking the first choice. So this is the first person and then boys, girls, and then the picking the third person so the branch the tree gets bigger and bigger um, I will start off filling up one side and then have you try the other so that it doesn't take too long um, so the probability of picking a boy we have nine boys out of a total of 24 students and the girls will be 15 out of 24. And again, you can check 9 plus 15 should give you 24. Um, now that I've picked a boy, I have one less boy to pick from, so that's 8. And I have a total of one less person to pick from, so that's 23. If I go further again with the boys, again, I have one less boy to pick from, so that's 7. And then I have one less person to pick from, so that's 22. So because I've already picked a boy here, so in this branch, I have 23 students because one is already picked. And then when I come here, I've already picked two students, so I have to go 24 minus 2, so I have a total of 22 students left. And I've picked two boys already, so out of the 9, I've picked two boys already, so minus 2, so that's 7 over 22. Um, for the girls, I didn't pick anybody from the girls, so that's 15 over 23. In here as well, I haven't picked anybody from the girls, so that's 15 over 23. And you can check that, 50, sorry, 22. And you can check that 15 and 7 add up to 22. Um, so these should add up to 1, these should add up to 1, add up to 1, add up to 1, and so on. Um, then let's continue with this branch, and then you can try this. Um, so 9, I've, I have a boy picked here. I have a girl picked here, and coming back to the boys, I've already picked a boy there, so I have eight boys. Uh, I have 24, 23, so I'm left with 22 students. For the girls, I've already picked a girl here, so I'm left with 14 girls out of 22. Add the 14 and 8 up, it should give you 22. So you can fill up the rest of the branch. I'm just going to write in the numbers there. So we have... Sorry, 8 and 13 over 22. Um, for the first question, we have, um, we want all boys. So we have the probability of all boys. And in this case, it's the first branch. So 9 over 24 times 8 over 23, times 7 over 22. This is where you didn't actually need the tree diagram for this. Um, you could have said, just said I pick 9, and then 8, and then 7, and then my denominator will keep on decreasing. So it, it, you could solve some of these questions without. And the answer will be 21 over 506. Um, they need the answer in fraction, and this is in simplest form. Uh, for part B, they want all three are girls, so we have this last branch, so we, we need to multiply all the values together, so girls, girls, and girls, so we have um, 15 over 24 times 14 over 23 times 13 over 22, and that will give us 455 over 224. 
Um, now for the last option, they want one is a boy and two are girls. So we actually have many options for this. So it could be a boy, girl, and girl, or it could be, so remember I'm saying or, so I'm adding them up. It could be a girl, a boy, a girl, or it could be a girl, a girl, and a boy. So we're looking at three branches. Now either you calculate those three branches, which are, um, just to show you where the branches are, we need a boy, girl, and a girl. We need a girl, a boy, and a girl, and then we need a girl, girl, and a boy. Um, either you calculate these three or you use the previous um, method that we've done before, which is the one minus, because um, we've already calculated this branch and this branch. So we only have to calculate three more branches and then we do one minus um, or we calculate these probabilities. So we have for the first one, it's going to be so multiplying all of these numbers together. I'm going to get three, one, five over 2024. And uh, this is also three, one, five over 2024. And this is three, one, five over 2024. So I have three different options, either this option or this option or that option. So then I'm going to add them together. So 315 over 224. Obviously, you can see it's three numbers. So instead of plus the same number plus the same number, I'll just multiply by three. Um, so that's going to give you 945 over 224. Again, I multiplied by three because I'm adding the same number. Um, three times. So just being smart with the maths here. Um, hopefully this was clear. So the tricks are just to know how many branches you have and uh, knowing that you could have many branches um, that you could pick from and listing out all your options and also mainly checking that your probabilities are correct. So remember for each branch the probabilities will add up to one and when I'm talking about each branch I'm not talking about this whole thing. I'm talking about this part and then this part, and then this part, and then this part, each adds up to one. If you calculated the probability here, 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 and added all of these blue probabilities out and here, then these should add up to one as well, but you don't necessarily have to do that. So just remember your probabilities. Um, remember to reduce the denominator if there is no replacement, and be aware of the numerator, whether you have to reduce it or not.